The Google DeepMind team has believed for years that building great generative AI tools also requires building great tools to detect what has been created by AI. There are many obvious reasons, says Demis Hassabis, CEO of Google DeepMind, one of the main ones being deepfakes. With another election season in 2024, Hassabis says building systems to identify AI images is becoming more important. Hassabis and his team have been working on a tool for the last few years, which Google is releasing publicly today. Synth ID is a watermark for AI-generated images that is invisible to humans but easily caught by a dedicated AI detection tool. The watermark is embedded in the pixels of the image, but Hasabis says it doesn't alter the image itself in any noticeable way. As Synthede's underlying models improve, Hasabis says, the watermark will be even less perceptible to humans but even more easily detected by DeepMind's tools. That's as technical as Hasabis and Google DeepMind want to be for now. Even the launch blog post is sparse on details because Synth ID is still a new system. The more you reveal about the way it works, the easier it'll be for hackers and nefarious entities to get around it, Hasabi says. Synth ID will be first available to Google Cloud customers using Vertex AI and Imagine. With more real-world testing, Hasabi's hopes Synth ID will improve. Google can then use it in more places, share more about it, and collect more data. Eventually, Hasabi seems to hope Synth ID might be something like an internet-wide standard. The foundational ideas could even be used in other media like video and text. Of course, Google's not the only company with this particular ambition. Meta, OpenAI, and other AI leaders promised last month to build more safety features for their AI. A number of companies are also working with a protocol called C2PA, which uses cryptographic metadata to tag AI-generated content. SynthID is launching during Google's Cloud Next conference, in which the company tells its business customers about new features in Google's cloud and workspace products. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to support independent news.